So first things first, you need two accelerometers, two wires with the connectors on them already, and two single wires with connectors on them. Your DAQ, your USB cable, and your screwdriver. So to hook up one accelerometer, the top one here, VIN, is the positive input power. You can input 2.5 volts to 16 volts. They have voltage regulators on them. The ground board, you're ground out. And then the Z. So those are the three ports that you need. Now VN is what we're going to use to connect to the 5 volt in on our DAQ. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the wires of the connector and you're going to plug the red one into the 5 volt positive on the digital side. Use your screwdriver to tighten it. Then you're going to need to take your ground side, the white one, and you're going to put it in the ground next to the AI0 plus port. The reason why you want to put it here is on the accelerometer, the ground serves two purposes. It serves the purpose of completing the circuit to supply the power, and it also provides the reference to which it outputs the voltage for the Z direction. So, you're going to put that in the ground port on your DAC next to AI0 plus. Then you're going to take one of the wires with the single connector on it and you're going to plug the stripped end into AI0 plus and tighten the wire. This is the first semester, summer 2013, that you're going to be using the new setup for the accelerometers with the prongs, and you're just going to push them on, and that's how you connect it. So, the black wire, which is the wire that's plugged into the AI0 Plus port, goes into the Z port on the accelerometer. Then, the other two wires, the red and white, the red go into VN, and the white goes into ground and that's shown right here like this. So you see the red wires in VN, the white wires in ground, and the black wires in Z. And of course you're going to hook your USB port into your DAC and then hook it into your computer so you can collect the data. So this week you're using accelerometers and you're going to need to be able to convert the voltage output of them to acceleration. I'm not going to show you exactly how to implement that. You're going to have to figure that out on your own, but I will give you a guidance on how to do it. So first things first, you're going to put a DAC in as usual. Once you have your DAC in, then you put in a voltage as usual. And I'm going to select the first port as always, the AI0 port. You can leave your scale, full scale range as such, but I would change it to a small range and you can figure out what that range is after you start doing your sampling. And the first thing you're going to need to do is change it to RSE since the, since the accelerometers aren't hooked up in the differential method as usual. And again, remember that you can go to the connection diagram page to see what pins that you need to hook it to. Now for the second part of the lab, you're going to need to have two channels. So you can just come into your DAC again and add another channel. And you can say voltage. And then it would be your AI, AI1 channel and insert that. And then it would also be an RSE as well. You're going to leave it as end samples because you got to determine the proper sampling rate. And then once you have the DAQ set up, you hit OK. DAC is finished being put into the VI. The next thing you're going to do is, as usual, you're going to create, you're going to create controls. Now, for this one, it's especially important that you create a control for this timeout since you're going to be going for long periods of time, half of a minute to a minute of data being collected. So you're going to want to make a control for the timeout, the number of samples, and the rate. Then the next thing you need to do is be able to convert the voltage output from your DAC to the acceleration. Now, you gotta keep in mind that acceleration is in meters per second. Now, the accelerometer outputs in G's, so you gotta multiply by gravity, you get out of G's, and then you gotta divide by the sensitivity of the accelerometer. So, say for example, our accelerometer had 150 uh, millivolts per a, gram, per a G sensitivity. So then, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put in a multiplication and division block. So I'm gonna put in, going to new, uh, arithmetic and comparison, then numeric, I'm gonna put in a multiply block for addition, I'm gonna put in a uh, division. Now again, you gotta pay attention. Multiplication doesn't matter which one you choose, but on division, it's top divided by the bottom. So I'm gonna take my data coming in, I'm gonna multiply it by 9.81, and then I'm gonna divide it by the sensitivity. 
So, I'm going to create a constant because this value is going to change. And I said it was 150 millivolts per G, which is 0.15, milli, 0.15 volts. And then I'm also going to create a control here, a constant here. And I'm going to put 9.81 gravity. So now, if I graph this, then it will give me the output of the accelerometer in not meters per second. Now, of course, it's going to be centered about 9.81 because that's the nominal output of the accelerometer when it's just at normal gravity range. So when you test your accelerometer, you got to note the direction because the direction matters on these accelerometers. you got to see what the, what the output is on one side and see the output is on the other side, and you got to make sure it's 9.81, and then that's the side that you're supposed to have down, or up, depending on which side you choose. So make sure that your output is 9.81 before you attach it to the weights. So there's also one more thing you can do. You can also subtract out 9.81 and make the amplitude or the acceleration zero for equal to, equaling 1G, but that doesn't really matter. And then as usual, you guys can save, create a measurements file and save it. You guys know how to do all that. So this is basically all you need to know for this lab. If you have any questions, you can ask your TA. Otherwise, uh, that's it.